face. Oh, oh, ew. Olive loaf. He's a teenager, you dick. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is that a sugar popcorn sandwich? Oh no. Godless turd. Oh no. The activities lounge is blocked. <laughs> Brian, no. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> Come on. Ah, go the other way. <laughs> Holy, go for it, guy. Whoa. Bizarre. Whoa. Whoa. Gee. Oh my God. They're kissing. Oh. Hey everyone. It's me, Tara, and this is Tara Tunes In. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am dressed up in my best 80s outfit because I am going to watch a long awaited 80s movie, The Breakfast Club. I've never seen this movie. I did do Pretty in Pink earlier on the channel and I got tons of suggestions to do The Breakfast Club. Um, I know from Pretty in Pink that the fashion of this time is pretty insane. So I gathered up all of my best accessories, chunky, chunky stuff, biggest scrunchie I could get, some little dingles in my hair, that kind of, you know, all this. Cause I'm trying to be, I'm trying to channel my inner 80s teen gal. So, we are gonna do The Breakfast Club. All I know about this one is that it's another Molly Ringwald movie, but I think there are several other uh, main characters in this one, I think. It's like a high school, I don't really know. It's something about a club at breakfast time, I guess. But we're gonna dive in and see what that's all about. Um, I may take these off because they're making an awful lot of noise, but here we go. So um, thank you so much for being here with me and uh, let's get going with The Breakfast Club. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's tune in. I'm so used to more visuals at the start. There's literally nothing happening except the credits on the screen. Whoa. Dear Mr. Vernon, we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong. But we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. And you see us as you want to see us. As a brain, an athlete, a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. <laughs> Correct? That's the way we saw each other at 7 o'clock this morning. Heavy. I can't believe you can't get me out of this. It's so absurd I have to be here on a Saturday. I'll make it up to you. <laughs> have a good day. I've never been to detention, nor did I ever go to school on Saturday for being in trouble. Well, get in there and use the time to your advantage. No, we're not supposed to study. We just have to sit there and do nothing. Well, mister, what? you figure out a way to study. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of detention doesn't let you do work? They're just supposed to sit there quietly? Or because of what he was saying, maybe they have to write an essay. You want to miss a match? You want to blow your ride? I know school is going to give a scholarship to a discipline case. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, school on a Saturday. That is a very nice library though. You must have a big school. <laughs> Did you just steal that? What? There were plenty of other seats. I can, you can already tell their personalities, like this guy pushes that guy out of the way, he's a pushover. She walked around everyone and sat the furthest away possible. <laughs> well, well. Excuse me, sir. I think there's been a mistake. I know it's detention, but um, I don't think I belong in here. You have exactly eight hours and 54 minutes to think about why you ponder the error of your ways. Oh. Not talk. What? You'll not move. From these seats. <laughs> you will not sleep. We are going to write an essay. Bribing to me who you think you are. I do not mean a single word repeated a thousand times. <laughs> Is that clear, Mr. Bender? Crystal. Good. You'll learn a little something about yourself. Maybe you'll even decide whether or not you care to return. Uh, yeah, you know, I can answer that right now, sir. You know, that'd be no. No, for me, because it's <laughs> Thank you, sir. Any monkey business is ill-advised. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? 
give you the answer to that question, <laughs> Mr. Bender, next Saturday. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. <laughs> Eating your hand, you're wow. not going to be hungry for lunch. I like him. <laughs> Yeah, high school was very awkward. Like, I feel uncomfortable taking my coat off at the same time as you, so I'm gonna stop, pretend I'm cold, and put it back on. He's just incapable of sitting quietly. Hey, homeboy, why don't you go close that door? We'll get the prom queen impregnated. Hey. What? Hey, what? That's disrespectful. I lose my temper, you're total, man. Totally? Totally. I don't need to shut up. Nobody here is interested. True. Really? Butt face. <laughs> what are you doing? Get in here. Butt face. Forget to wash your jock? Uh, excuse me, fellas. I think we should just write our papers. Look, just because you live in here doesn't give you the I right agree. to be a pain in the ass. So knock it off. It's a free country. She's doing it to get a rise out of you. Just ignore Yeah. Me. Are you guys like boyfriend, girlfriend? Steady dates? Lovers? Come on, Sporto. Level with me. You slipper the hot beef injection. Go to hell! Uh, hey, what's going on in there? Pricks. I thought this would be in the uh, monkey business. Young man, have you finished your paper? Come on, Bender, don't screw around. What are you gonna do? Drop dead, I hope. Bender, that's that's school property there. I mean, that's, you know, it doesn't belong to us. It's something not to be toyed with. <laughs> Come on, fix it. I'm she very much like the no, the guy that loves rules. <laughs> fix the door, Bender. Everyone just shh. Cool. You know what I'm doing. No, fix no, the door. Yeah, Bender. Shut up! God damn it. Why is that door closed? How are we supposed to know? We're not supposed to move, right? We were just sitting here. We're supposed to. She lied for him. Who closed that door? Interesting. I think a screw fell out of it. It just closed, sir. Who? Oh, my goodness. I talk, sir. I don't have it. You want me to yank you out of that seat and shake it out of you? Excuse me, sir. Why would anybody want to steal a screw? Watch it. <laughs> the door's way too heavy, sir. <laughs> Andrew Clark, let's go. How come Andrew gets to get up? That's right. If he gets up, we'll all get up. It'll be anarchy. Oh my God! Right, She's going to such lengths to keep that door. <laughs> That's very clever, sir. But what if there's a fire? Endangering the lives of children would be unwise at this juncture in your career, sir. All right. I agree. What are you doing with? Get this out of here, for God's sake! What? What's the matter? Oh my gosh, Come this on. teacher. The school comes equipped with fire exits at either end of the library. Show Shut Dick up, some guy. respect. Let's... I expected a little more from. Varsity letter. The next screw that falls out <laughs> is gonna be you. Eat my shorts. What was that? <laughs> Eat my shorts. You just bought yourself another Saturday, mister. Oh, crushed. You just bought one more right there. Well, I'm free the Saturday after that. She Beyond that, talking. I'm gonna have to check my calendar. Good, because it's gonna be filled. We'll keep going. Are you through? No. I'm doing society a favor. So? That's another one right now. You want another one? Yes. You got it. Cut it out. You through? Not even close. I'm gonna use that. For two months, I got you. I'm thrilled. Right, that's it. I'm gonna be right outside those doors. The next time I have to come in here, I'm cracking skulls. <laughs> Being a teacher would be so hard. He's particularly weird and annoying. Just light this shoe on fire, why not? Eight hours they have to sit there, that's, that's hard. <laughs> wow, that's really tight. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, that's kind of gross. I wonder how long it's been. Wake up! <laughs> Who has to go to the laboratory? <laughs> you grounded tonight? I don't know. I'm 
mom said I was when my dad told me she's a blower off. It's like any minute. Divorce. What do you like better? You like your old man better than your mom? They're both screwed. No, I mean, if you had to choose between them. I don't know. I mean, I don't think either one of them gives a shit about me. It's like they use me just to get back at each other. Ha! Oh. Shut up. You're just feeling sorry for yourself. Yeah, well, if I didn't, nobody else would. Oh, you're breaking my heart. You get along with your parents? Well, if I say yes, I'm an idiot, right? You're an idiot anyway. But if you say you get along with your parents, well, you're a liar, too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like my parents either. I mean, I don't... You know, I, don't I mean, no teenager I, really likes their parents. Or I shouldn't say no them, teenager, yeah, their idea, but a lot of know, teenagers, especially those in trouble, usually have some kind of conflict at home. He's got a name. Yeah? Yeah. What's your <laughs> you name? don't know it either. Brian, my condolences. What's your name? What's yours? Claire. Claire? Claire. Family. <laughs> Are you a virgin? <laughs> yeah, they're getting very personal now. Leave her alone. Yeah. You gonna make me? You and how many are your friends? Just <laughs> Poor Brian. <laughs> you and me. Oh, oh, wrestler. Where is the teacher? I want to get into this with you, man. <laughs> Why not? Because I'd kill you. Which, he's being so cocky as he slowly backs up because he's... Oh, he's got a knife? Oh, this guy. <clears throat> Let's end this right now. You don't talk to her. You don't look at her. <laughs> you don't even think about her. You understand me? I'm trying to help. How? Brian, how you doing? Your dad work here? Is that his dad? I feel like I knew people in high school like this guy. Like, he just can't just be quiet. <laughs> Although that's pretty funny. <laughs> I like how there's little moments where they all start to come together a little bit. Like, they're all against each other, but every couple of hours, they do something that they all, like when they all lied to the teacher together, and now this. All right, girls. That's 30 minutes for lunch. Will milk be made available to us? We're extremely <laughs> thirsty, sir. I have a really low tolerance for dehydration. I've seen her dehydrate, sir. It's pretty gross. Relax. <laughs> I'll get it. Ah, ah, ah. Grab some wood there, bub. What do you think? I was born yesterday. Bub. You. You. Hey, hey. She's a little Come bit on, weird, isn't she? Let's go. I shouldn't say weird, Let's but go. she's a little weird. Does she not speak at all? So, what's your mind? poison? What do you drink? Vodka. <laughs> Vodka. Vodka. A lot. Tons. Is that why you're here? Today? I feel like she's just lying. Why are you here? Why are you here? Because my coach and my father don't want me to blow my ride. So I get treated differently. Because uh, the coach thinks I'm a winner. So does my old man. I'm not a winner because I want to be. I'm a winner because I got strength and speed. Kind of like a racehorse. It's about how involved I am in what's happening to me. That was a big share. That's very interesting. <laughs> I still don't really understand why he's now, in detention. Now, why don't you tell me why you're really in here? Yeah, please. What's in there? Yes. Where's your lunch? You're wearing it. What? She has a sushi fancy little board setup thing. Wow. What's that? Sushi. Sushi? <laughs> Rice, uh, raw fish, and seaweed. You won't accept the <laughs> tongue in your mouth and you're gonna eat that? Can I eat it? I don't know. Give it a try. Look at the size of that bag of chips and how many sandwiches he has. Holy crap. <laughs> That's the biggest lunch in the world. Ew. Olive loaf. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Is she putting pixie sticks on her bread? That's just sugar. That is a sugar sandwich. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. She is fascinating. What is that? Popcorn? Is that a sugar popcorn sandwich? I don't think I would like that. What are we having? You can't just steal someone's sugar lunch. Standard regular lunch, I guess. I have a thermos just like that. It's a very familiar thermos to me. I can read. 
PB and J with the crust. It's an entire bag of chocolate chip cookies. Well, Brian, Their lunches are also it's a different. Very nutritious lunch. All the food groups are represented. Here's my impression of life at Big Bry's house. Why? He just has to insult people. I'm really not son? liking this guy. Yeah, Dad. How was your day, pal? Say, son, how'd you like it? It kind of seems like Fishing she likes him, but weekend. he's Great, such a Dad. jerk. Gee. Dear, isn't our son swell? Oh. Oh. <clears throat> All right. What about your family? It's real easy. Stupid, worthless. No good, goddamn freeloading son of a bitch, retarded, big mouth, know it all, asshole, jerk, ugly, lazy. Oh, shut up, bitch! Who flips me turkey pot pie? No, Dad! What about you? Fuck you! Is that for real? You want to come over sometime? That's bullshit. It's all part of your hmm. image. I don't believe a word of it. No? Did I stutter? Made me kind of sad. I hope that's not real, but. This? That was kind of yeah. a, an emotional. It's about the size of a cigar. Do I stutter? See, I don't think that I need to sit. That explains a lot. And dildos anymore. Oh man, he has all this teenage energy and all this sadness and anger. If you're interested in watching my full-length reactions, I invite you to head over to my Patreon page. There's lots of exclusive content over there, early access, I do a movie reaction journal over there, you can participate in polls, and even make special requests for reactions you want to see me do on my channel. So if you want to get more involved and help support the channel, then head over there and check it out. And if you want to just keep tuning in with me here on YouTube, then that is awesome, and I am happy to have you here. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, ew, what was that? Gross. Coffee? It looks so thick. Oh gosh, here they go. Sneaking out. What's the point of going to Ben's locker? It's me. They're all it's going so to his stupid. locker? Why? Why do you think, why are we risking getting caught? I don't, I don't know. know. So then what are we doing? You ask me one more question and I'm beating the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm a lot like Brian. I ask a lot of questions as well. What is that a gross bag of? So many bags! It's like a nesting doll. Oh, uh, is it Drugs. is it weed? <laughs> Boy has marijuana. That was marijuana. <laughs> Brian! What's her problem? Nobody knows what her deal is. I would love to know what her deal is. She still has lock. Oh! Go, 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 go! Come on. The teacher must be so bored. Wait, wait, hold it, hold it. We, we have to go through the cafeteria. No, the activity's hall. Hey man, you don't know what you're talking about. No, you don't know what you're talking about. Come on! Was it the right way? This school is huge, it seems like. There are so many hallways. Oh no! Shit. Great idea, Jack. The activities lounge is blocked. We're dead. Get back to the library. Keep your blue it on. Oh no, poor Brian. Well, he's sacrificing himself for the team. They'll appreciate that. He's leading him away. Three, two, one. Ah! Hey, what is this? What are you doing here? What is this? Huh? <laughs> How did he... Why did they have one of his shoe? Out, it's over. Don't you want to hear my excuse? Out. Where did his other regular shoe go? Scholarship. <laughs> oh, we jumped right out of that shoe. That's the last time, Bender. Someday, when you're out of here and you forgot all about this place, when you're wrapped up in your own pathetic life, I'm gonna be there. Jeez. You can't just you get me. children alone in a room and threaten them. You think anybody oh, is gonna like take your guy. word over mine? Like, I don't like John. I'm a man of respect. As in, I don't like his behavior. I'm a swell guy. But I understand it. Shit, and everybody knows this it. guy. Get on your feet, pal. Let's find out how no. tough you are. I want to know right now how tough you are. Take a shot right here. Come on. That's all I need. Just one swing. So inappropriate. 
Be an adult, man. You're a gutless turd. Gutless turd? Have a little friggin' understanding. He's a teenager going through a hard time, you dick. You cannot lock someone in a closet. I'm, I'm so appalled by that man. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Immediate escape. That's Naked really risky line. though. Those ceilings are not very strong. Naked lady says. <laughs> he is kind of charming when he's not being a complete asshole. She tied? What in God's name is going on in here? What was that ruckus? Uh, what ruckus? I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus. <laughs> oh. What is this? What is that? What is that? What is that noise? <gasps> really, sir, there was many more. Get out of there. No, it wasn't. And you, I will not be made a fool of. <laughs> yes, yes, you will. <laughs> yeah, he deserves that. It was an accident. You're an asshole. Sue me. Pray for my doobage. Yo, wastoid. You're not gonna blaze up in here. I think he might. I guess they could all have a real deep heart to heart if they all did that together. They all want to go. He wants to go. Yeah, go. <laughs> Whoa, I would like to try that. I guess leave it to detention to corrupt kids. She never did that before. They stuck her in a room for eight hours with nothing to do. I think they kind of like each other. Oh my god. Whoa! Holy! Go for it, guy! Yeah! He has the most energy ever. <laughs> I'd probably just be asleep in a chair. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I can smash the door! Are all these your girlfriends? Some of them. You don't believe in just one guy, one girl? Do you? Yeah. They're just going through each other's bags. I mean, you gotta come up with things to do when you're why sitting not? in a library for eight hours. I don't know why they don't read books. How can you get so much shit in your purse? How can you have so many girlfriends? I asked you first. I don't know. I guess I never throw anything away. Neither do I. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you need a fake ID for? So I can vote. Ah, oh, Brian. You wanna see what's in my bag? No. Whoa. That's a lot of stuff. What is all that stuff? I always carry this much shit in my bag. You never know when you may have to jam. My home life is unsatisfying. You're saying you'd subject yourself to the violent danger of these Chicago streets because your home life is unsatisfying. I don't have to run away and live in the street. I can run away and I can go to the ocean, I can go to the country, I can go to the mountains. Allison says she wants to run away because her home life is unsatisfying. Well, everyone's home life is unsatisfying. Never mind, forget it. Everything's cool. What's the deal? No. I do want to know what makes her There's home no life deal. so unsatisfying. And you're carrying all that crap around in your purse. Either you really want to run away, or you want people to think you want to run away. Eat shit. You want to talk? No. Why not? Go away. You have problems. Oh, I have problems. You do everything everybody ever tells you to do. That is a problem. But I didn't dump my purse out on the couch and invite people into my problems. That's true. I don't know why yeah. she did that. She totally 180'd and was just like, never mind, go away, leave me alone. So what's wrong? I would like to know what's wrong. What is it? Yeah. What did they do to you? Yeah. You guys know what, uh, what I did to get in here? No, I really want to know. I taped Larry Lester's buns together. That was you? <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, I know. Well, you know how hairy he is, right? But when they pulled the tape off, most of his hair came off his skin, too. Ouch! And I did it for my old man. What? I tortured this poor kid because I wanted him to think that I was cool. Oh, that's kind of messed up. He's always going off about all the wild things he used to do. 
He was disappointed that I never cut loose on anyone, right? So I think I was lucky I didn't have any kind of pressure like that. I didn't have parents that were like, oh, it was so cool in high school. My parents were very normal, regular addressing a couple lockers down people. I started thinking about my father, his attitude about, about weakness. And the next thing I knew, I, I started wailing on him. And my friends, they just laughed and cheered me on. He's like ashamed of himself. All I could think about was Larry's father and Larry having to go home and explain what happened to him. Fucking humiliation he must have felt. You, how do you apologize for something like that? It's all because of me and my old man. Eat him. Andrew, you've got to be number one. Win, win, win. You son of a bitch. I think your old man and my old man should get together and go bowling. <laughs> I step outside myself, kind of, and like when I look in, I don't like what I see. Why don't you like yourself? It's stupid. It's a failing shop, and to make this like ceramic, it's like a lamp. The light was supposed to go on, but my light didn't go on. Got an F on it. Why'd you think it'd be easy? You've seen some of the dopes that take shop. I take shop. Neither one of you is any better than the other one. I can write with my toes. <laughs> I can also eat, brush my teeth with your feet, my heart and soul on the piano. I can make spaghetti. What can you do? I can uh, tape all of your buns together. I want to see what Claire can do. You can't do anything. You know, everybody can do something. There's one thing I can do. You have to swear to God you won't laugh. I'm glad they turned this into a more positive conversation. What can you do? What is she doing? Putting lipstick on with her boobs? That's, that's the skill? Wow. Bizarre. That was great, Claire. My image of you is totally blown. Oh, it doesn't have to be so sarcastic. She's already embarrassed. Am I laughing? You fucking prick. You don't like me anyway. You know, I have just as many feelings as you do, and it hurts just as much when somebody steps all over them. God, you're so pathetic. Don't you ever, ever compare yourself to me. You got everything, and I got shit. School would probably fucking shut down if you didn't show up. I like those earrings, Claire. Are those real diamonds, Claire? Shut up. Oh, did your daddy buy those? Kids? Shut up! I bet he bought those for you. I bet those were a Christmas gift. You know what I got for Christmas this year? I got a carton of cigarettes. Hey, smoke up, Johnny! <sighs> He just expresses himself by being mean to everyone else. No, he could have just like told his story like everyone else was. It's unavoidable. When you grow up, your heart dies. Who cares? I care. What is going to happen to us on Monday? That's a good question. Yeah, I consider you guys my friend. Monday, what happened? Are we so friends? I don't think so. It's a real nice attitude. Oh, be honest, Andy. If Brian came walking up to you in the hall on Monday, what would you do? You'd say hi to him, and when he left, you'd cut him all up so your friends wouldn't think that you really liked him. No way. That's true. He would do it. What if I came up to you? Same exact thing. You are a bitch! Why? Because I'm telling the truth? No, because you know how shitty that is to do to someone. You don't got the balls to stand up to your friends and tell them that you're going to like who you want. Oh, uh, Brian! Okay, what about you, you hypocrite? What would your friends say? We were walking down the hall together. They'd laugh their asses off, and you'd probably tell them that you were doing it with me so they'd forgive you for being seen with me. Don't you ever talk about my friend. Just strip to the things that you know. Shopping, nail polish, your father's BMW, and your poor, rich, drunk mother in the Caribbean. Shut up! And as far as being concerned about what's going to happen when you and I walk down the hallways of school, you can forget it, because it's never going to happen. I hate you. Yeah? Good. Then I assume Alice and I are better people than you guys. Did you do that to me? Oh, Allison. If you did. Yeah. I don't think the kind of friends I have would be mine. Friends wouldn't mind because they look up to us. You're so conceited, Claire. Yeah, is that what you think? You're so conceited. You're so, like, full of yourself. Why are you like that? I'm not saying that to be conceited. I hate it. I hate having to go along with everything my friends say. Then why do you do it? You just don't understand the pressure that they can put on you. You think I don't understand pressure, Claire? Well, fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah, Brian. Go, Brian. You tell her. Oh, I'm here today. No, why are you here, Brian? Hey, you. Mr. Ryan, I found a gun in your locker. <gasps> why did you have a gun in your locker? I tried. And the light's supposed to go on. It didn't go on. I mean, what's the gun for, Brian? I can't have an F. I know my parents can have 
Well, I didn't do it, did I? It was a handgun. Well, I swear, it went off in my locker. <laughs> oh, that's not the time to laugh. <clears throat> well, yes, it is. You want to know what I did to get in here? Nothing. I didn't have anything better to do. Oh my God, Allison! Come on. You're laughing at me. <laughs> No! Yeah, you are. <laughs> Aww. They're coming together. Well, they're all feeling a little looser after that big talk, I think. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Where's it going now? Don't be afraid. Just go, go like that. Oh, he went back to the closet. You lost? What's gonna happen? Oh, I can't wait to see her. Whoa, he likes it. Oh, she looks cute. Oh, ow, ow. He's into it. He likes it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Then you wouldn't be really disgusted about what I did with my lipstick. Truth? Truth. No. What happened to you? Why? Claire did it. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? It's just, just so different. To your He's face. staring at her so much. Is that good or bad? It's good. You look pretty. Hmm. Adorable. <laughs> he just gave himself a pat. See you, Brad. See you next Saturday. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god! They're kissing! Come on! You know he has to be nicer in the hallways. Oh, she ripped his jacket! Are they still in the closet? So, are they all just saying goodbye? Like forever? Because Monday they're not gonna talk to each other? <laughs> Dear Mr. Vernon, we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong, but we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. You see us as you want to see us, but what we found out is that each one of us is a brain and an athlete and a basket <laughs> case, a princess and a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Wow! They just wrote him a letter. F you. We learned a lot. Your assignment was stupid. <laughs> I feel like that's a very famous freeze frame. I've seen that before. That was my best freeze frame. <laughs> okay, well that was The Breakfast Club. And it was great! It was way different from Pretty in Pink. Completely different vibe of the whole movie. It wasn't really as funny, although it had really funny parts. It was very, very deep and emotional in a lot of parts, so I was pretty surprised by that. I really liked it. I think that John Hughes has a real knack for knowing what teenagers go through, what they were going through in the 80s, what they're still going through now, and just kind of speaking right directly into their souls with these movies. So I'm not surprised that they become big hits because they're very on point with what being a teenager is like, I think. So I really enjoyed watching that one. I think it was all kinds of things. It was sad and funny and emotional and sweet and it was a whole array of things. I cried a little bit, I laughed a lot. I really liked all of these characters and the way that they interacted with each other and the way that they learned from each other and yelled at each other and hated each other and cared about each other throughout the whole thing. I think that they did each learn a heck of a lot and it felt like at the end, they all sort of just were gonna accept that on Monday, things were gonna be different. Um, um, or rather things were gonna
going to be exactly the same as they'd always been. They weren't really going to be friends. They weren't really going to talk to each other. They all just sort of said goodbye. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. I, I kind of wish that we got to see what happened on Monday because, you know, Andy and Allison, they had a really tender, nice kiss. And I, and I kind of, you know, hope that he would go and be her boyfriend on Monday. The same way that I hope the other two that were kissing could move forward or that I hope no one would be mean to Brian in the hallways. But we don't know what happens. But I imagine because of the pressure, because of the peer pressure and the way high school is, it probably is gonna go back to the way it always was, but it seems like they all just kind of had accepted it and had come together at the end and appreciated each other and appreciated what they learned and just kind of parted ways and on better terms and, and secretly understanding each other a heck of a lot better. So I thought that was great. I thought the teacher was really funny and kind of an awful person also. I thought it was really well, really well written and there was so much talking in it that I didn't talk a lot because I was really listening and really trying to pay attention to what they were saying and what the meaning was behind everything that they were saying. So um, I, I apologize if I didn't say a whole lot during that reaction, but I was taking it all in. I was in there with them the whole time. And it kind of made me wish that I had gone to uh, like a Saturday detention. I think it would have been really cool to have that kind of a, an experience with a group of unlikely people. So yeah, I think that the, Teenagers seeing this movie, especially at this time, would probably really have benefited from it because it has a really clear message, like everybody's going through something. Everybody has a reason why they are the way they are. Everybody who's tormenting you in high school probably has their own stuff going on. Nobody's life is perfect. You don't know what people's lives are like and that's true throughout your whole life. So I just, I really appreciated that message and I really thought this was a kind of a touching movie. And uh, the only complaint I have is the lack of accessorizing. Nobody had any chunky jewelry on, now I feel silly. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really liked this one. Thanks to everyone who suggested this one to me and I I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay. Oh, oh, how do, oh. How did people wear headphones in the 80s? Oh, this is so, uh, this is just too much. Oh.